Hey there, champion, and today I'm going to show you how to create video ads in 2019 and probably beyond. And I'm going to show you how to do this in an easy way because, of course, there's a lot of way on how to do this. And we professionals are using professional tools like for me, I personally use Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro, but I do understand that for most video marketers, that's a bit too much. And so right now, I'm going to show you how to use an easy-to-use tool called VidAds in order to create trendy social videos that you can use for your video ad campaigns. And the time I'm recording this video, it's almost the end of 2018. And if you've been creating videos during the last years, you notice a lot of changes like there are some new trends in social video ads, unlike some years ago that... You just have to create some YouTube videos and probably sales videos on your website. But today, you have to adapt with the latest trend on Facebook videos, such as some video memes. You have to follow the common aspect ratios, social media places, and all those things. And that's what I like about this app called VidAds because it allows you to do just that. So as you can see, I'm now here in the dashboard and there are three things that I can do to start. I can create from product, from template, or from scratch. And let me start by creating one from scratch. So let me click here. And then here, as you can see, I can add my content by adding some texts. But let me actually start by choosing a background. So let me just click background here. And I can upload my own file, or I can simply choose a background color. So as you can see, there are different available background colors from here, which are great or I can simply choose from library. So as you can see, there are also ready-made backgrounds available here, which is also great. But for now, let me just make this simple by choosing a solid background here. So let's start with orange, for example. And then I can go back here to content, and I can then add a text. So I can do that by clicking this plus button here. And for me to change that text, all I have to do is click here at the end and just press delete in my keyboard or if you're in on Windows, just press backspace. And let me just add a title here, which is vid ads demo. There we go. And I can just position this wherever I want, probably somewhere here. And if I want to add some more text, I can also click this other text right here. And again, I can just position this below that. Again, press delete. And I can say by Cham. And then for me to format this text, all I have to do is click here at edit. And I can choose any font that I want, such as these things. But I guess I'm good with Arial. So let me just leave it as that. Let me just choose my main title here. And what I can do is increase my font size. There we go. I can also make it bold. And for my name, probably I'll, I'll, I will make it even smaller. And if I want, I can also add a background color to my text. So let's say, for example, aside from that, I will add a dark background or something. And I can also do that. Aside from that, I can also go here and add an image. So what I can do is just go here and choose a file. Let's say, for example, I want to use this image here. Let me just click it, click open. And again, I can just position it wherever I want. I can also resize my image by going here to the corner and just simply drag. And of course, I can just position this wherever I want. Although, of course, for this, this is not an appropriate image for this one, so I'm not gonna use it, but that's how to add an image in case you wanted to add one. For now, let me just delete this. Another thing that I can do is go here to sales. And as you can see, I can also add different elements such as characters, some animations, buttons, arrows, e-commerce, and even icons. And in case I want to add one of these, let's say for example I want to add this one, all I have to do is click it. There we go. And again, I can just position it wherever I want. I can also scale this up and down if I wanted to. So maybe I'll position it somewhere here. And for my title, I will make it here. And then for my name, Probably position it somewhere there and as you can see this looks actually good and probably I can make it a bit smaller 
and actually I'll let me just remove this background color here I guess it's a lot better if it doesn't have a background color there we go and that can be my first slide and the number here is the length of my slide which is five seconds if I want to increase the time frame of my slide I can just click the plus button or if I want to decrease I just press the minus button here and if I want to add another slide all I have to do is click here and again I can just do pretty much the same thing I can choose another background color or if I want to retain that I can just choose that and pretty much do the same thing I can add a text I can add another image I can add different elements here and continue doing that and let's say I already created different slides with my content the final thing that I can do is go here to music and choose a background music that I can use as you can see I can upload my own music or I can just choose from library so I can just click here to to preview the background music there we go and in case I want to use this all I have to do is click it and it will be used as my background music for my video and once I'm happy with this all I have to do is click export video and then I can then use that as my video add on social media places the only thing that I wish they added here is that there will be a play button here that I can just click so that I can play my video first and preview it before even exporting it and I might just contact the developers and suggest that feature to them but for now what you can simply do is click export video and in case you find some mistakes in your video all I have to do is go back here and edit it again and then export your video one more time so that's how to create a video from scratch and of course you can also add a video title here so I can say from scratch there we go and let's also check out the other options so let me go here to create video and now let's try from template so from templates as you can see there are different templates here and we are just on page one there's a lot of other pages here but let's check out one of these so I can always click here to preview a certain template let's try this one for example so that's a cool looking template so let's say I want to use that one all I have to do is click edit video and as you can see the slides are already created for me plus the text so let's start with the very first one and let's say I want to change that with my own website all I have to do is you know add it here and just do pretty much the same thing you know I can go here and make that smaller so that it will fit that box right there I can go here and add my own text I can also go here and you know just add my text and again just do the same thing and of course if I want I can always change the color of my background and add some images maybe add some animated elements and again if I want I can also change my background music so that's how you can just simply edit a template in case you wanna use a template and again you can add your title so I can just add from template and right now let's also check out create a video from product so let me click here and in creating a video from a product you have different choices such as Amazon AliExpress eBay Shopify Best Buy and Walmart and for this demo let me just choose Amazon and I can enter any keyword here so let's say for example I want to sell a camera so let me type camera here I can also choose a category but let me just leave that as it is hit enter or return and as you can see there's a bunch of cameras here and let me choose this one right here I can choose either I want to create a video from scratch or from template let me just choose from scratch for now once I do as you can see it pulled up the title and price and call to action of this product from Amazon and if I go here to image as you can see it also pulled up that image from Amazon so if I want 
to add this text for example like all i have to do is click this plus button right here and as you can see that was added as my main title and as you can see it's too long and let's try if we can hit return and break this into two lines i hope we can nope i'm trying to do it and it's not allowing me to do so so unfortunately i cannot do that so what i can just probably do is delete some part of this text right here and position it there again and probably make my text smaller and it's still long so i still have to delete some part of the text and again position it somewhere here and then i can also add this price right here again position it probably here and if i want to add this call to action i can also do so and i can go down here to images and add this image of the camera and as you can see that can be my first slide or i can even create a video with a single slide and in case you're not aware a short video is now very effective especially for facebook ads and instagram so this itself can serve as your video you know you can just go here to edit and you can add some animation for the text such as fade in and fade out and you will be good to go but of course if you want you can always add another slide and you can play around by adding some more images or probably use some of these animated elements here probably i don't know like e-commerce buttons like amazon and i don't know like you can also add some more text if you wanted to and then probably create another slide and then probably add a buy now button you know so just be artistic and use your creativity to combine all these elements to create a great looking video so as you can see that's how to create a video from a product and i'm glad that they added that feature in this application as well so basically those are the things that you can do inside but there are some other features here for example we have video finder and you can just type any keyword to search for a video or you can just use some of these ready-made videos you can click edit to use this as your background maybe or to add memes which i'm going to show you later on you can also convert a video to gif and what you can do is choose a video file from your computer or simply add a youtube url here that you want to convert into a gif and so let's do that so let me just use this youtube video here copy that url paste it here click check and then click next and what i can do here is choose a from and to because when it comes to gif as you may know those looping gif animations are kind of short typically like three seconds or so so i can just choose a from and two seconds here and simply click export gif and then i can then convert this video into a gif format so that's how to use the gif conversion tool here another thing that you can do here is also generate a meme so let's click here and you can do the same thing you can upload a file or just simply use the same youtube video here click check click next and this is actually typical with social videos nowadays especially on facebook and instagram wherein you can add a solid layer with text on top and bottom of your video and that's a great way to make your video go viral and generate more engagements I don't know why it somewhat look ugly to me but it's proven to be effective and it's a great thing that you can do that in this app as well so let's say for example i'll add a top text right here i can choose a font a size and all that i can also change the color of my background let me just make it black and for my text color let me just make it white i can make this bold i can choose the size of my text choose the alignment i can also add a bottom text and i can do the same thing i can make the color white and then the background black and let's say for my bottom text i will just leave it as that and there we go i can create a wrapper for my video and make my video go viral and get more engagement using this feature and finally it also has social resizer and again i can do the same thing let me just choose the same video click next 
and here you can actually resize the aspect ratio of your video and they already have ready-made aspect ratio here for Instagram snapchat YouTube Facebook and Twitter landscape Facebook and Twitter portrait and Facebook cover and let me choose Instagram for now and what you can do here is fit your video or crop your video and just use that one is to one aspect ratio in case you want to use this for Instagram and as you can see it cropped my video right here or if you want to fit your video what you can do then is choose between black and white you know background solid layer for your video and once you're happy all you have to do is click resize video and render that as your video again to be used on Instagram so as you can see this is a cool app that comes with a lot of features and a lot of them are features that work well especially today such as top and bottom text aspect ratios and all that and there are probably some rooms for improvement such as the preview feature wherein you, you can preview your video before exporting but overall I actually like this app and as you have watched my demo it actually works well in creating video ads really easy so if you find this app useful and you want to use it as well all you have to do is click the button that you can see below this video and that will be my link and if you get this through my link as always I have amazing bonuses for you and you can see those bonuses right below this video on this page so yep thanks a lot for watching and I look forward to seeing you using bid ads as well in creating professional social videos that you can use for your video ad campaigns so my name is Jam and I'll talk to you soon Bye for now.